Good afternoon, Cash Family. This is Dr. Mark Tracy coming on with one of my weekly messages. I'm just really excited to be come back and talk to you about all the great things I'm seeing each and every day at Kestrel. You know, every week I come and talk to you about the ACE, the Academics, Culture, and Enrichment. You know, the reason why we focus and talk about this is because we really talk about what does it take to take a child and make them productive members of society, prepare them for college and beyond, and make sure that they are helping our society grow and learn. And when you think about it, you need the academics, you need that culture or social integration, and you also need enrichments to become a holistic person. So that's why we focus on that. And I think that's one of the unique and great things about Kestrel. Um, this week, one of the things I want to talk to you about from an academic perspective is how our teachers utilize grouping. You know, grouping is a great way to enhance student learning. So there's many ways that you can do grouping. But one of the things I want to highlight today is how we utilize grouping to help students support one another in their learning. The grouping can also be used, obviously, in how teachers meet and work with students in small groups and things of that nature. But one of the exciting things that we say on a regular basis at Kestrel are students helping students grow and learn. Um, why is that important? Let's think about it. Uh, we're all parents. Uh, when we talk to our kids about certain things, we could tell them 50, 30, 70, 100 times, it doesn't matter. They hear it one way. Sometimes when their friends or a peer says the exact same thing or something very similar, they respond and react to something differently. It's just an opportunity to hear it from a different perspective, hear it in the language and words that they use, and sometimes, for whatever reason, it sinks in. Well, that's the same thing here. When students are helping students grow and learn, it's not that they're not listening to the teachers and it's not that our teachers aren't effective. The reality is, it's that when they hear it from a student, it, it, it responds differently. So you can see in these examples that our students are working sometimes with a shoulder partner, one, you know, one to one group or two, a group of two. Sometimes you see them working in groups with three or four on a specific project where they're all working on it together. Other cases you may see is where students are um, Working independently, being a group to make sure that they're all meeting the, the, the expectations. Um, so grouping is really, really important. And also sometimes you see from a group and you'd say, well, how is a whole group, how is a whole class one group? Well, it is. In this case, you see a student who is leading um, the learning and students are responding. But what you, what you saw in those pictures as well is high levels of student engagement, authentic engagement. Students actively engaged in a learning process and part of that has to do with the grouping and working with peers and working with one another and obviously we all know with the way our society is going the ability to work and be able to collaborate is a significant skill that is necessary that's why we do seminars that's why we do a lot of things at Kestrel because society and businesses tell us graduates need to know how to work with one another and so you see grouping having a multitude of reasons and rationales an important process of what we do here at Kestrel. On top of that, we always talk about our culture piece, so I'm going to talk a little bit about our culture piece today. Um, one of the exciting pieces you see here is uh, Ms. Kennedy, our, our outstanding counselor, working with our eighth grade students, not just on uh, academic components, but she's in this example, she was working with them on interview skills, taking them through mock interviews um, to give them an opportunity to understand the importance of preparing for interviews and what that may look like. What an important skill that is and how that skill can translate for the rest of their life. So it's exciting to see us investing in the holistic student. But you also see here in a kindergarten classroom where they're having a wiggle break. Well, wiggle break means developmentally our, our, our five and six year olds need to get up and move a little bit. But what's great here is that the teacher is utilizing academic pieces, counting letters, colors, different things that are aligned with the curriculum as a utilization to, for that movement break. So kids think they're dancing and having a good time, but the songs and the things they're talking about relate to the curriculum. And you also see something similar here in our middle school social studies class where our teacher is, uh, they're using a, a Nerf ball to do a vocabulary review. But that movement and that kind of fun and exciting things that you see just changes it up a little bit so that learning becomes fun and it's an exciting opportunity for our students to grow and learn. It's the end of the third quarter, um, uh, and uh, spring break is next week. So we will not have a video uh, next week. That we'll, we'll come back after the week of spring break. But just remember that March 29th, this coming Thursday, is a school day. Uh, it was a work day, uh, but uh, due to the weather we've had, it is a school day. So March 29th, this Thursday, is a school day. But the, that, that uh, Friday and the whole following next week is our spring break. So please enjoy. I know many of you are traveling and having a good time. Even if you're not having a staycation, you know, enjoy yourselves. Be safe. Uh, we want to see you back here healthy and whole uh, coming back from spring break.
Uh, as always, please make sure that uh, if you're interested in joining the board of directors, we had a couple parents come out recently. Uh, they're always looking for qualified individuals, particularly if you have a background in education, law, business, finance, things of that nature that when you think about running a, a multi-million dollar organization, knowledge and skills that you need to have. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or um, need to get in contact with me, you know, I need to hear from you. If there's things that you want to hear about in these videos, if there's things that you want to see changed at the school, let me know and we'll talk about it. Um, but you can contact me as well, um, just in reference if there's something you'd like to talk about your child or the school or anything that you'd like to talk about, my contact information, including my cell phone. So don't hesitate to call me uh, or reach out to me. Um, with that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. A next week of school, Monday through Thursday, and then a great spring break. With that being said, have a great day.